What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? We are having reversing valve problems. Train XV system. I've seen this happen about four or five other times. Where you got it set for cooling or you have it set for heating at the thermostat. But when it comes on, it comes on in the opposite mode. I'll explain that to you here in a minute. Anyway, so these variable speed systems, we didn't need to take that off. You've got a reversing valve in here behind this door. And unlike typical systems that have a 24 volt valve that stays energized all the time as long as your thermostat's in cooling or a ream if it's in heating, these do not. Every time that thermostat calls, it sends a quick pulse from this drive to this valve. DC voltage, 4, 4, 11, uh, 4 in cooling, 11 in heating, I think. Just a split second, comes on, and then that's it. This will be about the fifth time I've had this happen where it gets the call to go to a mode, but it doesn't go, meaning it calls for cooling, but it, it just comes on in heat because this didn't respond to that signal. We're going to run the test on it a couple of times and check that voltage right here. So if you go into this drive and you hold that down, we're in our monitor menu. We're gonna go over here to our control menu. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my, my meter. I'm gonna put my needle point probes in. And then we're gonna go across the blue and the red wire up here. And we are going to initiate what you can do with this is a reversing valve switchover test, which means every time you enter it, it'll switch that valve, and you'll get a quick DC reading on your voltage and find out if that reversing valve solenoid is actually responding to it properly. You do this to confirm that the board's actually sending the proper voltage. It's the main, main reason that you can check test it see if it's responding. So this is going to be our reversing valve right here. We're getting the leads in there sometimes to get a, a good connection. It's sometimes a little difficult. There we go. So that little white plug there with the red and blue wire is the one coming off that reversing valve. So what I'll do is we're going to go over here and we're going to run the test on it. So EV test, and there's our switchover valve test. Right now it's in cooling. Do I want to run the test? Yes. So now the test is in progress, as you can see right there. And then we want to see, okay, it's sent four volts switch it over to heat as you can see right there and then it's sent 11 to switch it back to cooling so I'm gonna put this thing in actual DC volts so you can see that thing clear and sometimes I can catch it I'll just check that pipe and you can tell if it responds and I'll run that test a few times let's run it again See if this thing actually switches like it's supposed to. So we should get a we didn't get a voltage that time. Maybe I just need to reset that and put it back to where it was at. back to cooling right there but that pipe right there is starting to warm up so 
so it's going to call for cooling at the thermostat. We've completed the test. We're still in a test. And that line's starting to get hot. Let me do this again. So it's in cool. And you'll see it switch to heat. Right there. And we got our voltage over here when it did. So now it's running in heat. You heard it switch again. See that time you heard that refrigerant change. The pressure change when that valve shift. We didn't hear that while ago or on that previous test. So now we're back in cooling. Test complete. And it'll tell us what our current position is, which is cool. Do we want to run the test? So now it's getting cold this time. I'm going to do that a couple more times. See what our voltage does. Right there. Pipe's getting warm. At that time it switched like it was supposed to. But that one time, I'm going to let it run a couple of minutes and cooling and then we're going to run it again. But every time I've been out, it was twice, that our FSR guy said we needed to update the drive. And that would fix it. Updated it, didn't fix it. The only thing that fixed it was coming back and replacing that solenoid and I mean this thing shouldn't have to be updated just for the sake of updating it I mean it, it should run the way it was installed the day it was installed with the same software in it as long as it needs to I mean I can understand if they change something in it and they put out some type of a, a bulletin that, hey you know we need to update some of these units what model and serial numbers some units need to be updated, I get that, but I mean, if we're to suddenly do this because it needs an update, it's a little stupid to me. Does it make sense? The new versions of these XD systems update on their own when they're connected to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. It does it through the thermostat, and then that communicates that new update for software to the drive outside. A little easier than having to bring a laptop out here or a that little drive, they call it a Manus tool, they don't make those anymore. So now you have to bring a laptop and a cable out here and do all that. Alright, so what I've decided to do is right here at the plug that comes off the solenoid, I'm going to check my voltage and my call for heat and cool mode there instead of up here. <coughs> I want to check it from the CDA all the way through the harness to the actual solenoid itself. This harness does have a little diode resistor there. And I want to make sure everything is complete when I get that call. So I want to make sure my pins are nice and snug in there. And then we're gonna, now we're gonna run this test. It's in heat mode currently. I'm going to run this thing and I'm going to switch it to cooling now, run the test, and we should get a quick DC pulse voltage there, around 10, 11, somewhere in that range, 11.6 for cooling, and now we should get about 3.9 to 4, and it switches back to heating, and we did, and it switched back. So now I've confirmed my voltage all the way through the harness from the drive, kind of ruling anything else out. And I'm coming off the plug at the solenoid. So it made it from the drive, through the harness, through the plug assembly, to the solenoid. So I'm going to swap this out real quick. Just loosen this screw on the side. And I can actually do this while it's running because it's not a 24 volt control valve. It only responds when the thermostat cycles on for a 
for a cycle. So now we are running in heat load, which is fine because I warm up the house a little bit while I'm doing this. It is about oh, it's temperature outside. It's 55 degrees. And this one did come off of our training unit at the shop. It will get apart from every once in a while because they didn't have any of these in stock. Believe it or not. Well, it's not hard to believe. I don't think anybody keeps crap in stock anymore, to tell you the truth. Now I'm going to go cycle the power on this thing real quick. Alright, we got it back up and running. Back in cool mode. I'm going to run it in heat too, but now I've got that new solenoid in. And we're going to run this test real quick. You'll see that switch over to heat here in a minute. Shift. Let's see the heat. Just switch back to cooling. Pipe's getting cold. Now it's warm. So I'm gonna run this test a couple of more times. Make sure this thing switches like I'm like it's supposed to, and it's. I mean, there's always a question about the drive. I haven't found a lot of bad ones that weren't bad because of a snake or a mouse or a frog or something getting in it. But uh, I've seen that a handful of times. I'm pretty confident in changing that out. I just, I wish they would do something to where it just stays energized constantly for, for a malt, either a heating or a cooling call rather than that little pulse because I mean it's doing it every time it comes on every time the thermostat calls so I don't know what kind of wear and tear that leads to on this or that I don't know but it's called technology and I think it sucks at least when it comes to something that should just be just keep it simple it doesn't have to be so hard to keep a house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Not all this crap anyway. But, it's just my opinion. Alright guys, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe. Appreciate everybody that has. And, uh, go Tar Heels, Duke, you suck. <laughs>